So our brokerage has an exclusive look at a new condo, but you know when you go downtown, you always gotta look your best. I feel like I'm not quite on point enough to be downtown today. No idea how to do my own makeup. I need to figure out a mascara that actually makes my eyes look like they're open. Or maybe I should get eyelash extensions. I said that to Alex the other day and he kind of just laughed at me, but. I tried to get, uh, upgrade my style a little bit. We need to I step it up. We need to step up our style. Uh, and get these like cool J. Crew pants. Your PJ pants. Um, I'm not 100% on them though. I don't think they look a little bit like pajamas. Well, that's a look. That's, that's a style. A look. Right? I mean, we're in Seattle, I guess, so maybe that'll fly. I tried to upgrade my wardrobe to look more like a professional realtor, and I have like one thing now that looks professional. Let's try it. We only live like 15 or 20 minutes from downtown Seattle, and I like visiting. Uh, I occasionally have to go down and you know look at a condo for a client, or uh, sometimes I just like visiting some of the touristy spots when I'm uh, driving through, like Pike Place or uh, Pioneer Square. They're they're fun to see. Uh, Kendall does not like going downtown mostly because it's stressful to drive, but I'm excited to see this condo. I actually don't know exactly what to expect. We just got an invite to see. Uh, the, the the premiere of the penthouses in a new building. So we're gonna go check it out. Uh, it sounds like they've got a uh, fancy designer who designed them all. Oh my gosh, the views are incredible. Okay, the views are truly stunning. You have some really cool city view, and then uh, all of the harbor, all of the industrial bits um, across the sound. It's a very nice view. We're very high up too. This is the 39th floor. I think this, this is probably the best view of any Seattle condo I've been in, by far. It's locked. Yeah. Oh, can we redo that? That's just another episode of Kendall Can Open Doors. <laughs> Alright, washer dryer. Guest main living bathroom. Oh my word. Wow. Spacious. I like Seattle again. I was a little down on it yesterday when we went out to lunch and we had to sit outside and it was freezing and I'd forgotten my jacket. But, I mean. I like okay. the countertops. It's like a. Uh, it's some sort of natural stone, but it's a tone that you don't see very much. I was just about to say that. I was like, wow, it's a not white countertop. Yeah, kind of like an 80s throwback vibe almost. Uh, like high end marble in those McMansions, but uh, much more tasteful. Yeah, okay. See, wallpaper's in. So we're in another unit now. Uh, I like the view out of this one. We're looking towards the lake, Lake Union, and the Space Needle, too. Can you imagine watching Fourth of July fireworks from here? And New Year's too. Uh, the past couple of years it's all been virtual, but oh, when yeah. it goes back to normal, mm, look yeah. at this view. It's pretty incredible. Yeah, all your friends would be crashing here at New Year's Eve. Oh yeah. yeah. Whenever we're downtown, I insist that we get sushi because it's just what you do when you're downtown, right? So um, we're heading to Pike Market. As Seattle residents, I would say we don't go to Pike Market all that often because it's a little bit touristy, but it's been a minute, so we thought we'd head down there, check it out, look at the views. And I just put a search into Google Maps. There were about maybe like 30 sushi restaurants within a few block radius of Pike Market. There's another bodysuit. Oh, you have to come downtown to know the fashions. And just sit and window watch creepily on people. Knit bodysuits. Look out. Uh, should we be like stereotypical Seattle bloggers and get a bunch of uh, flowers from Pike Bits Market? Well, it's kind of silly not to because they're like $10 and they're so pretty. I don't have an I can think of an occasion for flowers. I 
Then every day should be an occasion for flowers. This is where pick up a bouquet. Don't put that in. <laughs> Okay, Kendall, what do you think about life downtown after looking at a, uh, actually, I don't know how much those condos cost yet because they haven't hit the market, um, but probably like two or three million. I mean, I just like to think that I could live there. Well, let's be real, I could live there. You couldn't. <laughs> That's probably I true. I have a question. garage full of woodworking tools. Kayaks, table saws, cars. Also, I feel like if we put our furniture in that place, uh, that would not work. Although, I guess if we're buying a $2 million condo, then yeah, we just we get, get all new furniture. Yeah, obviously we get new furniture. I don't know. I mean, ultimately, I think that, hey, our anniversary is coming up in a couple weeks. I think we've been a unit long enough that because of you, I can no longer identify with the cool lifestyle that was once within reach. Oh, you think it's my fault, do you? Yeah. But, so I guess, no, I cannot picture myself living. I do think it would be really nice to have all those amenities like the party room and like big group barbecue space and the gym. Yes, I would use the gym. Just right there. Um, and the views were just amazing. Well, we're gonna go camping because we're crazy people. I'm gonna take us. Well, she'll be almost eight months by then. This thing looks, <laughs> it looks way too big. Get in there, say good bed. She'll be too hot in there. <laughs> 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 you ready to go camping? <laughs> yeah, I'm warm and fuzzy. You ready to go camping? <laughs> See, we couldn't be watering our grass and sitting in the backyard if we lived downtown. That's true. It's now Saturday. I spent this morning working with three different buyer clients. We did get some flowers. They're beautiful. So pretty. They're already... Did the hummingbird stick their beak thingy into that little hole? Is that how this works when I fill this up? Um, and I why think... do you have to... What's this big thing? I think you fill this up. Should we hang this? Yeah. How about just like right there? A little hook or any of these things? Yeah. Is it good to have birds of that close to your eaves though? Oh, they're hummingbirds. They're pretty. They're not gonna like make nests or anything, right? Mm -hmm. No. Okay, let's do it. I would never choose to feed the birds. Oh, Only if I was forced to. And go up high. to introduce some law in Washington state for uh, protecting children and family blogs. Uh, so if you're making like 20 cents per view and the child is featured more 30% uh, or more in the videos, then, then uh, a certain percentage, I forget what percentage, but a certain percentage of your income from it. the videos I'm gonna lose it. are put into a trust, which, is. Are, which is given to the child at 18.
As you remember from last week's video, I was trying to decide whether or not to spend the time to fix the lamp that I bought for the Airbnb or just buy a new one. And I have decided to fix it because I really like the style. Uh, let me show you the problem. So this is the lamp. This is, uh, it's pretty cool. We've got this little stick bit here. It's kind of retro looking. Um, but the problem is that it's designed as like just a, um, you know, a, a chandelier thing that you would screw to the ceiling and put it into a junction box. But uh, I don't have any power going right above the table that I'm gonna put it over. So instead, I spent like $25 at Home Depot. I got a black extension cord. I'm going to cut this bit off and then I'm going to solder everything together so that uh, you can just plug this in and uh, power it that way. No switch because um, I couldn't find anything that was quite right, so you're just gonna have to plug it in and plug it and unplug it to make it work. Oh, I've been meeting at four, not five. So Kendall made some dinner. I did miss bedtime because of my meeting, but I was on time for the meeting. We have some delightful taco salad here. Uh, this looks delicious. But before I have some dinner, I wanna test out this lamp and make sure it's working. So back to uh, in my lack of fashion. Um, you know, a downtown condo might not be my speed, but it's only because I do value the, uh, the amount of space that I have here for projects and um, uh, storage. So, let's see if this works. Success!